This is just a quick video to show you a little strategy that I use that I think might come in handy if you happen to be on IBO Toolbox. If you're not on IBO Toolbox, it might be handy anyway, but you really should be on IBO Toolbox. This has got to be the best uh, uh, relationship building, branding, communicating, getting leads website that I've found in a long time and you know I was on it for ages for years and I never used it and then I finally figured out how to use it and it's really helped me a lot so I want to pass that on to you anyway enough of the mumbo jumbo I want to get right to it I use Firefox and one of the reasons I use Firefox is this little trick I'm going to show you right now if you uh, find people on here that are interesting, and believe me, there's a lot of them that are not interesting. They're just in here throwing links around and throwing, you know, PRs that they copied and pasted. And I mean, it it just tries your patience sometime to get through it. But one of the ways I get through it is to find the really good ones and make sure I follow them so that I get some benefit out of this whole thing. Uh, one I found just recently, I'll show you. I have a little folder here on my bookmarks. It's really not a bookmark. It's an RSS reader. And I'll explain that a little further as we go along. But if you click on this read, here's some of the people I work with. And right down here, this is a guy that I found just the other day. And I read a couple of his PRs. And boy, they're really good. And uh, so I want to follow up on all these, but obviously I can't do them all in one day. But you'll notice I've read the first two, and all the rest of them are marked differently, so I know which ones I want to read next. But if you click on any one of these, it just goes right to his press release directly, and there's the press release that I want to read. You notice there's a lot of videos on there. There's a lot of comments because this guy is really pretty interesting to read so I want to be able to continue to follow up on him so what would I do if I found somebody new that I wanted to continue to read uh, let's go back to the to the home page here I'm gonna just put my uh, profile up just so you get an idea and uh, let's say that I got into my PRs that's the PRs right here and you know I read a couple of these and I thought you know this guy's got some stuff that I think I could really use and it's not just all pitches it's it's help and I want more help so what I want to do is follow this guy all I have to do is come down here and click on this press release feed it goes to here which lists all the press releases and I say subscribe now and I leave it where it says live bookmarks up, up at the top so I subscribe and uh, I'm gonna put this in the drop down read that's the section I want it in and I'm gonna call it instead of just what what the default comes in here I, I'm gonna put uh, whatever I want to identify it and then click subscribe all right so if I close that out and then I go back and look at this read column up here there it is right there that's the one I just added there's all my PRs here's the ones I haven't written yet because I didn't start doing this until uh, uh, you know seriously until a couple months ago and a lot of these are old ones but that it gives you the idea you, you can then list them and go through them and read the ones you want to read and when you're all done, if you decide you don't want to follow that guy anymore, all you have to do is right-click on that and say delete, and he's not on your list anymore. So I think it's a pretty cool technique. Whatever reason you want to keep following somebody on here, and you can use the same thing for blogs or anybody else that has an RSS feed. I have an RSS feed on my main website. If you go over here to... Uh, and you say latest changes view the RSS feed I could add this on there just subscribe now put it in read subscribe now the next time I go up here and and uh, click on read there's my digicache examples right there so that's that's an RSS reader it's really handy especially if you use Firefox is built right in and, and it makes it just slicker than 
yeah, it works. So give it a try and see what you think. I'll see you around online.